there is no question everyone is having a blast in season four. I can't tell you how many times I've been told live on my streams, I'm new to Diablo 4, I'm enjoying Diablo 4, I'm excited to create another character and try another class in season four. I can go on and on. It's the first time since I started playing Diablo 4 that I've heard and seen so many people excited about what's happening in season four and their excitement level to play it. So in this video, I wanted to give an idea to Activision Blizzard on how they can leverage this new form of excitement with the player base in Diablo 4. And I'm talking about specifically in season five. Now, we know Vessel of Hatred is going to happen after season five. If you look at all the information we have, it's already been marketed as something that's coming late October 2024. So one would put that together. And if you look at the timing of the seasons in Diablo 4, Vessel of Hatred is going to happen after season five. So to me, I've been thinking, how is Activision Blizzard going to top season four? How can they continue to create W's? Because they need to. They need to capture this excitement level. And it'd be it's going to be very interesting to see if they ever do release how many players are playing season four. I have to think it's a positive number. And knowing Activision Blizzard, they're pretty good at promoting themselves. And when it's good news, they like to talk about it. So I'm very excited and interested to see if they do do that. However, I have an idea that I'd like for you guys to ponder and give me your feedback on, on how they can add to this successful season four and something they can do in season five. And that is, look, I, for the very first time in Diablo 4, actually am re-rolling different characters and playing all different classes. I've never done that before in any season. I had that aspiration when the game first launched. I'm someone who likes to play all the classes in games. I love the leveling up process. I love going, I term it zero to hero with my character. So I love that process. And I've had that initially going into season uh, Diablo 4, sorry. But then we all know what happened and that never came to fruition. But in season four, I actually have that excitement back and I'm actually doing it. I already have a Sork at a sorceress at level 100. And now I'm doing a hardcore run where I'm doing a barbarian and I'm probably gonna do another class if things continue the way that they're going. So knowing that and hearing and getting feedback from other players saying they're excited too, I have the following suggestion for Activision Blizzard and how they can elevate itemization even further uh, in the future, and that is in Season 5. And that is by adopting what Last Epoch has done, and that's by adding class masteries in the Diablo 4 game. Now, for those of you that are not familiar, in Last Epoch, all the classes each have three masteries that players can hone in on and focus their builds on, which just opens up so many different options when it comes to play style and characters you can build in Last Epoch. It's one of many things that 11th Hour Games checks the box with. Their class and skills in Last Epoch are unbelievable. They're such a joy to play. I suggest Activision Blizzard adopt the same kind of methodology. Like, as you can see here, for example, the Sentinel has three masteries. You can be a Void Knight, you can be a Forged Guard, and you can be a Paladin. 
the mage can master in sorcerer, spellblade, ruin master. The acolyte has three masteries of lich, necromancer, and warlock. The primalist class has beast master, shaman, and druid as their masteries. And the rogue has blade dancer, marksman, and falconer. Now, I wanted to demonstrate something else that would get improved by adopting this style by adding masteries into Diablo 4. And that goes into the topic of what probably a lot of players have complained about. And that is the lack of diversity when it comes to the skill tree, the, the twig tree, as it's referred to sometimes referred to as sometimes. So as you can see, this is the skill tree for Diablo 4 and all classes look the same, just that the skills obviously change depending on what class you're playing. But as you can see, it is a very, very basic design when it comes to customizing your character's skills and the flexibility you have and, uh, and, and different options you have when it comes to, again, adding variety and customizing a character to your liking. You're, you are basically boxed in to whatever the Diablo 4 dev team have put on the skill tree for you, and you're locked into these options. There, there aren't really that many different play styles with each class in Diablo 4. And let's call a spade a spade. Season after season, it's basically the same classes for all, sorry, it's basically the same characters and play styles for each class in Diablo 4. And again, this is a very basic design. A lot of players complain about this skill tree and let's not even go into the paragon board system again another huge complaint from the diablo 4 uh, player base uh very very rigid design again basic I, like it just doesn't add anything to the game a lot of players do not like the current system having a another layer on top of this would i think take itemization to another level in diablo 4 this is why i suggest that they add masteries to each class in diablo 4 now before you guys are all oh, that's copying copying last epoch guys they've already done it and newsflash this isn't new games copy from things from other games they all do it now i'm referencing the last epoch system obviously diablo 4's development team has the resources the money and the skill set to i would say make it look like their own without being super obvious about it, if that makes any sense. All I'm saying is they need to enhance the skill tree and the Paragon board to something that players like and gives more roads to go down, if that's a good saying, when it comes to diversity in all the classes in Diablo 4. Now remember, we are getting a new class with Vessel of Hatred. So this would be a good in-between between now and Vessel of Hatred. And I would think will further add to the enjoyment level of players. You see, look at the enjoyment level of players in Season 4 right now. And that's just with the fact that they've improved itemization. Now, loot matters now. You can customize your loot to fit your class or play style, to min and max it. You are in control. You're no longer reliant on farming the same stuff, hoping 
something's going to drop that you can utilize. Now, that is still in the game, but to a lesser degree, because now the control has been given to us as far as what we want to put, what affixes, what aspects we want to utilize in our builds to customize our builds to suit our play style. The control is on our side. So just look how everyone is having so much fun just with that. Can you imagine, and this is why I'm suggesting, they add masteries to each class and further put more substance into the skills of all the classes. This will, I think this is a natural step from the itemization step because it just, the two marry so well and I feel would be such a great addition to the game. It's much needed. Now, I will say that's full stop, not the only problem. They need to address the end game and we'll save that discussion for another video. But I think this addition of improving the skills, the Paragon board, and I suggest using what last epoch uses and that's adding masteries to each class i think would be a huge w and again add another layer of enjoyment for players to be able to maximize their classes and characters to their play style let me know what you guys think do you guys think i'm off my rockers do you think they should not copy something that's already been copied uh, done by another game i suggest they can mold it and and design it to how diablo 4 is and make it not that obvious but then again who cares games copy uh certain mechanics from other games all the time but let me know what you think i think this is a natural fit for season five let me know what your thoughts are and if you're playing diablo 4 season four let me know i'd also like to hear from the new players like I said in my previous videos, I'm getting a lot of people coming to my streams telling me they're new to Diablo 4. I, like, I, I I, gotta say, I'm very surprised, and it's uh, that's great, uh, super great, and uh, that's amazing. So if you're new to Diablo 4, let me know. How are you enjoying Diablo 4? Anyway, also wanna remind everybody to come watch my hardcore run. I'm currently running a Thorns Barbarian in hardcore mode, we're just about to go into world tier four. Uh, we're level 60-ish. We just hit 60, I think. Uh, so come and watch me live every evening on Twitch. Channel name is Sammy Caps. Love to have you. And hey, if you're new or you're enjoying season four or not enjoying season four, come on in and we can have a talk. We got a great community there. We'd love to have you. Come by and say hello. Anyway. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you found the video informative. And as always, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, it would help my channel grow immensely. I would appreciate the support. And as always, we'll see you in Sanctuary, and we'll see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.